people once believe that when someone died, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that a terrible sadness is carried with it and the soul cannot rest. Then sometimes, just sometimes, the crow can bring that soul back to put the wrong things right. Recognize me. Are you waking up? Good. What I'm going to do? You don't recognize me, do you? You don't recognize me at all. I can see it in your eyes. Let me refresh your memory. Do you remember a couple? He was a rock star and she was his girlfriend. Ah, I can see that you are getting some memories back. Your boss killed them both. And sometimes death isn't the end, my friend. Far from it. Sometimes the dead come back to set things right. I will get my vengeance upon them who did this to me and my beloved. Then we will be together again forever. However, you will not be where we are going. There is a place for people like you where there is no return, only pain and suffering. But I tell you what, perhaps you can ease that pain and suffering by simply answering some questions for me. Oh, Simple questions, really. Like, where is your boss? You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Well, you can see I have a good memory for a dead man. And I can Picture you beside your boss when you aim that gun at me. You know, the last thing a man remembers kind of prints itself on the eye. Can't remember. Can't remember. Perhaps this can refresh your memory. You see, I don't need air to breathe, but I'm pretty sure that you do. How are you in there? A bit stuffy. Is it hard to hear me? No 
course it's not gonna help you. It's not gonna help you one bit. So no panic. You're turning blue. Have you ate something bad? Oh, there's no air left in the bag. Oh, you're beginning to yark around. Feels good, doesn't it? To breathe. If you want to continue to breathe, I would... Uh, give you the advice to start talking. Is your memory refreshed by now? Is it? Or do I have to... I don't know. I hardly know that anything that I do can be worse than what you did to me. Shake hands. Oh, sorry did I break all your bones in your hand. Sorry. I better check your heart. Did it hurt? I think I broke three ribs. But it's okay, you have ribs on. You had ribs on that side. And to think I had such a lovely career ahead of me, family. You took that away from me without hesitating. Now all I have left is vengeance. And believe me, I will have my vengeance. Before I am finished, every one of you will be burning in hell. And I won't feel sorry for you. Not at all. I will feel only happiness. Because then my soul can rest. But you can never rest. So if you think the pain of me crushing your upper arm like this is painful, you have no idea what's coming. Trust me, I have seen the other side. I have seen the pain, the torture of hell. Where you are going. I almost feel sorry for you. But on the other hand. You didn't seem to feel sorry when you killed my girlfriend, did you? One was to hope that there was some good left in the world. We once thought so, me and her. Who I am? They never gave you a name, did they? They just told you to do what you do best. Destroy. Mutilate, kill. Doesn't matter now. I am no one anymore. But I used to be Eric. Corvius. I see you gasping for air. Your lungs must be damaged when I did this. Now I don't have time 
looking for you anymore. Will you tell me what I need to know? Or shall I start? Cutting off parts too. And don't cry. Because no one will cry for you when you're gone. No one. I'm doing the world a favor by removing you. Yes, no one will miss you. Not even your boss. He will just replace you with someone else. Someone who maybe don't get killed by a ghost. So, shall I start by removing your private parts or an eye? Or oh, you want to talk? Okay. Well, I'm very glad that you decided to indulge me in this. So where is your boss? Good, 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 good. You have done so good. You have done so good. Now I know where to find the rest of them. You have done good. And you know something. Can you move your arms at all? That's not good. Can you reach your face? Try. It seems like you can't. It hurts like hell, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you something you never gave me. A chance to live. Because I know it hurts when you try to move your broken arms. And move because your chest is broken. But I bet you can do it if your will enough is strong. If your will is strong enough, you can survive. So, I don't have time standing around there anymore. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to fill the bag with air and then put it around your head. Now the air in the bag should give you approximately five minutes to try and raise your arms and rip the bag off. Don't panic. But if you fail, I won't be seeing you on the other side. Nope, not where you're going. No, I'm not mad. I'm fair. I've given you a chance to live. You never gave me that. I think I lied. There probably us two minutes over here in the back. But um, it takes a little while for you to suffocate, so you can add 30 seconds. I make sure that your boss knows that you sent me. seeing you again.